All right, so we did a deluxe setup on this guitar. Um, the instrument came in with uh, severe pitting in the frets. So you can see now they look like brand new frets. So what we did is we went through, we leveled all of the frets to the lowest point, then re-rounded by hand every fret, and then polished them back out to get rid of all of your pitting and also give you nice level frets, which allows us to get your action nice and low. Um, so we started out with the setup um, we go through and we service all of your machines. The machines were taken off. Um, they were soaked in oil. Then they were spun out really quickly in oil to clean out any grime that could have been in them, then reinstalled onto the instrument. Um, we came through, cut your nut specifically for the strings that you're using. And I don't know if you can see how much extra break angle you now have behind your strings. We broke them off really hard. So it just, see how they really fall off the back there? That increases your brake angle. They were more going off into the air before. So we really maximized the amount of brake angle that we could achieve behind your nut, giving it more tension here, more brake angle and giving you a better tone. We adjusted your neck to close to flat. Um, there's a slight, one side will always have a little bit of relief. The other side we can get to flat. Um, it just totally depends on the instrument, what side that is. Um, we came down here <clears throat> after adjusting all of those things. We determined where your action was at and where we needed it to be. Um, we took the very minimal amount that we could from the bottom of your saddle. We reamed out your pins so that they fit freely into the slots and you have a purely mechanical fit behind here. We could actually pull one of these pins at tension. I'm not going to just in case it goes and a lot, most times it will actually stay in place because it's hooked to the bridge plate where it should be. Um, not jammed and squeezed into the hole and that's why these are all so level and then the very most important thing that we do in a setup is your intonation so we actually went through and uh, went through every string on a strobe tuner and intonated each individual string so that when you at, when you you get a perfect note and you hear how the note doesn't decay how it just has a nice even tone. Then we went through, we polished out your finish. Um, we also did some binding work on this one. This instrument did not seem to have any humidity issues to it, um, but the majority of the guitars that come in needing binding work do have humidity, and we'll talk about that. So we had all four hips binding separation. Looks good. So we put all the binding back the way that it should be. Um, here in Hawaii, if you don't have air conditioning, um, you don't have the ability to keep your guitar under 65% humidity, um, we recommend these packs, the Diodario two-way humidification packs. Um, they go inside of your case and they kind of give you the perfect environment or as good as they can do. I mean, it's, it's not the same as having a, a humidity controlled room, um, but at least you can Rest assured knowing that the inside of your case is as good as it can be um, without going to great lengths and building a, a specific guitar room or having some sort of cedar box that you put it into to keep it nice and dry. So um, we always recommend washing your hands before you play, um, having two different microfiber cloths. Um, we really like this Diodario spray cleaner as the last stage. It's the only one that's really important. What we'll do is we'll make sure we always check our rag that we have a nice clean soft rag. We'll feel it to make sure there's nothing on there. It only takes one spray. It's just a light dab. Go through, wipe your body down, wipe anywhere you might have touched. You know, here always gets a lot of human DNA. And then after we've wiped with that slightly damp side, we'll again check to make sure we have a nice smooth cloth and we'll just wipe away any excess. There's very little moisture on there. It's just enough to take it off. The guitar's already been deep cleaned with other things. That's why there's no more, you can't see any more of the, the grime that had been on the guitar. So it now no longer needs to be deep cleaned. It only needs this minor cleaning once we've already done the deep cleaning and gotten out the years of stuff. And then having a separate microfiber for the strings in your case. Speaking of the strings, what kind of strings did you put we on? We use Diodario Phosphor Bronze for all of our acoustics and we use the Diodario Nickels. Um, they're, in our experience, they're just what most professional players prefer. Um, we 
like the tuning stability and the longevity of the string. You don't um, you don't negotiate on that one, do you? No, not at all. That's you, the only. You put those on. If I want to change them, I can. Change. You can change them if you would like to. We want the guitar going out um, sounding as good as it can with the best tuning stability. Um, in my opinion, Martin strings sound better than any other string. Um, some people, if they haven't been playing for a long time, the the general population finds them a little bit rough on the fingers. Um, and I don't find that their tuning stability is quite the same as Diodario's. I just put uh, Martin Titanium on my no, we love No, we love the Martin Titaniums. We have them on our shop guitar. We also have, uh, we also really like the retro strings. Again, Martins are the best sounding strings, in our opinion. Um, elixirs, kind of, because they're coated, sort of sound. A little harsh to my ear. Yeah, they're, they're not the best sounding string. The tuning stability isn't great, but they last forever and they feel great. So everything in guitars is a sacrifice and we're always trying to find the middle ground, trying to find, you know, where where you get the mo where value and quality meet. And for us, the standard Diodario strings just value and quality. So when the instruments leave the shop, we want them to be as good as they possibly can be. And this is how I believe the guitar is as good as it possibly can be. And that's how we chose those strings. Well, let me play it. Yep, let's do it. My baby, I've missed you. I came this close to buying a D18. <laughs> I still may go, but I, I have enough guitars. <laughs> is unreal, man. bringing my D40 in, <laughs> my D41 right in for you, man. That's a good job. All right, I can't wait to take it home. Oh, well, thanks for coming to be our fret shop. Yeah. Let me, uh, let me wipe that down for you. 